Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. I'm finally doing a get to know me Q&A and this was probably one of the most highly requested videos and I thought now is the perfect time for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. And so I just wanna say thank you to everyone that sent me questions on Instagram. I received a lot more than I expected. So I will try to get through a lot of them, especially the ones that were most frequently asked. And if I don't, I will try to answer it in a future video or a future Q&A because this is definitely not the last one so yeah let's just get right into it I just want to start off with giving you guys a little quick intro of who I am because you may be new here just stumbling upon this video but also I think it'll help knock out a lot of the questions that have been asked so hello everyone my name is Lois I am Korean American and I was born and raised here in the US but I would say from a young age, I was quite in tune with both of my cultures. I have a huge love and respect for my Korean side. I love the culture, food, language, just everything about it. So I do speak Korean fluently, and I think that's why I've been getting a lot of questions asking if I lived in Korea, you know, when I came to the States, things like that. But I was born here, and I've never lived in Korea, but I do go back frequently because a lot of my relatives still live in Korea. Okay, so that was just a little introduction about who I am. I think that knocked out a lot of questions already. And so let's move on. Where did you grow up? So I grew up in the Midwest and I'm not gonna disclose exactly where just because my family still lives there and you know, just a bit of privacy, but I think it is something that's very unique about me because a lot of people don't expect me to be from the Midwest and actually get quite surprised. So yeah, I grew up there, I was born and raised there until I was in high school. And then moving on actually right into the next question is where did you go to school and what did you study? I went to Vanderbilt University and was a human organizational development major with a concentration in leadership organizational effectiveness. That was a mouthful. Um, but basically it's a major that's very unique to Vanderbilt and in short answer, it's business. I personally really like my major because it was so applicable to so many different industries and they really help you prep for the real world. So your senior year, you also have to do an internship and I chose to do mine in London. Moving on to the next question, this was probably the most asked. Are you a full-time YouTuber? Do you have any other jobs? What's your occupation? And I'm very excited to say that I have decided to do content creation full-time. And honestly, it was just a leap of faith. I feel like with anything that you're trying for the first time or something new can be a little bit nerve wracking and you have your doubts, but honestly, it's something that has really lit a fire in me and I'm very passionate about. So I've decided to just, you know, go with what my heart wants and just try it out. And worst case, I have to find another job also you know want to be transparent with you guys and share so just because if there's anyone out there who you know really wants to pursue something um, try something for this the first time like you are still young and even if you're not that young you should give it a try and I do also do some freelance work on the side um, and that has nothing to do with content creation but I do that as well so I am working during the week but this is my full-time thing but prior to this, I worked in the fashion industry and although I was a business major, I knew that I wanted to see like what the fashion world was like. So I did a lot of fashion internships. So that's also a like tip if you are wanting to get your foot in the door in a certain industry to do internships that are aligned with that. Okay, next question. How old are you? I'm 25. How long do you plan to live in New York? Love your vlogs. Thank you. Um, I'm not really sure. I think I would like to live here a couple more years. I love the city, but I also know that I don't want to raise a family here in New York. I would like more space, be around nature. So yeah, I would say maybe like for now, I'm thinking, you know, two or three more years, but we'll just see. We don't know what will happen. Uh, 
까먹지 말고 잘 해야 된다는 생각을 갖고 있었어가지고 어렸을 때부터 부모님이랑 한국어를 많이 쓰기도 했고 그리고 제가 워낙 또 한국 문화를 많이 좋아했으니까 뭐 예능, 음악, 드라마 이런 것도 보면서 좀 재밌게 한국어 공부를 어, 연습했던 것 같아요 어떤 언어를 배워도 그렇다고 생각해요 뭐 기초적인 거는 책을 봐야 되겠지만 그 이후로는 이제 꾸준히 쓰고 연습하는 게 중요하기 때문에 계속 접하려면 재밌게 해야 좀 많이 늘고 쓰는 것 같아요. Did your family immigrate from Korea? Yes, so my parents immigrated here and then I was born in the Midwest. Best closet staple that's worth the money. Ooh, I feel like that's hard. Um, that's gonna look a little different for everyone, but I think definitely investing in a black coat. I would definitely spend a little bit more money for that because I think it's super timeless and you'll have it in your closet forever. I actually have a black coat from my mom that my grandma bought her when she was in her 20s and it's in pristine condition. There's a sentimental part to it, but it is definitely my favorite piece in my closet. How tall are you? I'm 5'5 five, five and a half, so like 165, 166. Who is your inspiration? I would say I'm inspired by a lot of different people and things, but I would definitely say hands down my parents, their drive, sacrifice, compassion for other people. They always make me want to be a better person, strive for the best. Guys, my camera died, but I charged it and we're back. The lighting might be a little bit funky because it did get cloudy, so I apologize in advance, but let's get on with the questions. Your favorite place to travel? Hands down, Korea. I'm a little bit biased, but even when I just get to the airport, I start getting butterflies because I'm just so excited to be there. So if you haven't visited, you guys should go. Next question, how did you teach yourself to edit so well? Honestly, I'm so flattered right now because I don't think I edit that well and I've just been learning as I go. I had never edited a video prior to uploading a YouTube video. Didn't even know how to cut, honestly. And so I had to learn everything on YouTube. I also did Skillshare, it's actually really helpful. So yeah, I started on iMovie and then I quickly moved to Final Cut Pro because I thought, you know, that's eventually what I would use and I just wanted to get used to it. So that's just kind of what I've been doing. What's your MBTI? I'm an ENFJ, I think that's the protagonist, but also I think I can be an ENFP. The F and J are kind of interchangeable. What was the most challenging thing you ever did? Oh, that's a good question. I was gonna say studying abroad in Europe for a year alone, because none of my close friends really went, so I was pretty much by myself, but honestly that was great. It was like the best experience of my life, and it wasn't really that much of a challenge, like there were challenging things, but I honestly loved it, and it, I would say it was like the best time of my life. So, most challenging? Oh yeah, okay, probably um, paying for my study abroad myself. That was quite challenging because I was still a student, but I did want to be like financially independent from my parents because you know I still have a little brother and they have life for themselves. So when I wanted to study abroad uh, for a full year, originally it was just a semester. The second semester when I went to London, I wanted to attend fashion school and just see what it was about. I like told myself that I'd pay for it myself, like work um, and pay for it, and I did. So I was really proud of myself and it was probably also the most challenging, but it was very rewarding. If you would recommend one bag and one jewelry forever investment piece, what would it be? Ooh, for jewelry piece, it would probably have to be the love bracelet. So this one that I'm wearing right now, the one right here, it is just a classic. And I also think it has such a beautiful meaning to it. Something that you can also pass down. Think. In order for it to be a really good investment piece, it needs to be a piece that's going to hold its value over time and something that's timeless. Gotta be something that you can wear with a lot of different outfits, something that you see. Honestly, I've never taken this off since I got it and I just like it a lot. So that's probably the one I'd recommend. And for the one bag, it'd probably have to be the Chanel Classic Flat Bag in black, caviar skin, gold or silver hardware. I prefer the gold, but that's just preference. And I just think it is such a timeless, gorgeous bag. It's black and it's really easy to dress up and down. You guys have probably seen tons of photos of me carrying that bag, but I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I would definitely say it's a great investment piece because as you guys have seen, Chanel keeps increasing its prices. And honestly, I could probably sell my bag, which I won't, but I could and get as much back as I paid for it. So yeah, I would recommend those two. 
speaking of bags, uh, there's a couple that say, please share about how you got your Hermes Kelly. And I am happy to talk about that. Probably not here just because it has to be its own separate video. But if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments because I am happy to kind of share my experience of how I got that bag. How did you get courage to wear what you want without thinking about others? I think for me, the main thing is like, if it makes me feel good, then I shouldn't really care about what other people think. Like, I truly think in the end of the day, everyone's so busy thinking about themselves that they probably aren't paying that much attention to you. So if it makes you feel good, you should wear it. And it, I think that that's all that matters. Best and worst luxury pieces. To be completely honest, I don't think I've had a worst luxury piece yet. Um, I'm quite picky when it comes to buying luxury items because I want to make sure I'm getting my money's worth and I do so much research because I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of money So I did get another question where it said like why are all your bags black? And that's exactly the reason why because black is just a classic timeless color that goes with any outfit really you can't go wrong so I am like very strategic when it comes to buying things and making sure like this is something that I will not regret. Yeah, I would say my best purchase is probably my Hermes Kelly, um, my Chanel Classic Flap. Top three fave brands. That's hard. Uh, that I can afford or just in general because <laughs> I love Chanel. That's probably my favorite brand. The clothes, the um, bag, everything. Hermes bags. I do really appreciate Hermes craftsmanship but like the other stuff I'm still like getting to know, I guess, and Dior. How many languages do you speak? I speak English and Korean fluently and I've started learning a bit of French. I would love to become fluent and honestly, I would love to learn so many languages. I think there's such a huge merit to know many languages. What kind of music do you listen to? I listen to like everything, honestly. I love rap, trap, uh, K-pop, anything that I can like kind of bounce my body to, I'm happy. If you could only wear one outfit for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Oh, that's so hard. Probably honestly sweats, but if all outfits were comfortable, black trousers, black loafers, a white top with a little bit of flair, even something like this, simple, but chic and classic. And of course, like maybe a black coat. Favorite clothing brand to shop? This is actually kind of a hard question because I've never really had a go-to. The way I shop is I'll see an item on Instagram or like find something that I really like and then we'll find out about the brands. And so I have a very wide variety of clothes, but I feel like recently I have really liked the Frankie shop for trousers. Aritzia is a good one for like sweats and basic pieces. Also like Arquette and Koss, um, I've been really liking. So I've been checking them out a lot what is one piece of advice you would give that you learned through the years oh that's a really good question you guys are asking some good and tough questions um if there's something that you really want to do and it lights a fire in you then just go for it and put your full heart into it because it is better that you give it a try than regret later for not trying at all do you travel often and do you always find new things to do when traveling? So I used to travel often because I lived in Europe for a full year, half in Barcelona, half in London. So I had the opportunity to visit a lot of different countries. And yeah, I do try to find new things to do when I travel, especially if I'm visiting the same place. Definitely want to, you know, explore other parts. And I also like to try new countries, new cities, if I can, just because there's just so much more to explore in this world. So I would like to visit other uh, cities that I haven't. What motivates you to keep going? Definitely my family. You guys even motivate me to keep going. I feel like as cliche as it sounds, like I do want to make a difference in this world. I want to have a positive influence and the direction I want to take my channel is if I can provide some positive, healthy, clean space where other people can feel inspired, then Honestly, I think that's one of the most motivating factors in what I'm doing and what I want to do in my life. And with that, I'm going to end the Q&A, but before I go, I wanted to announce a special giveaway. I knew I wanted to do something for reaching 10K as a little thank you. And I've decided to give away these pearl earrings, not the one I'm wearing, but I have two of these pearl earrings. These are the earrings that I've been asked throughout a lot of my videos. You guys have probably seen them, but take a quick look here. 
This is going to be an international giveaway. I want to make sure anyone that watches could be part of this. And all you have to do is leave a comment down below saying what you like about my channel. I'm going to pick two winners on September 22nd, so make sure you leave a comment before then. I just want to say thank you for all the support. I love you guys, and I hope you guys had fun getting to know me a little bit. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!